Hello and welcome to Stealth Developers. I'd like to welcome you to this video where we are going to be going over our catalog because I thought it would be nice to have me personally go over our company and why we are doing this and why we offer these incredible vehicles and structures that we build for our company. Now we originally designed and built bunkers for preppers, for people who want to have a, a bunker for emergency preparedness. But more and more, many governments and cities are being a lot more restrictive about you having a bunker that now we either are deciding to maybe build it uh, without them knowing, which is illegal. So we decided to get out of that. But it is perfectly legal to have your own personal bunker as a mobile vehicle, such as a Humvee, an expedition truck, or even a Sprinter van, where you can be able to take your emergency supplies and your family and you can be able to escape the city and be able to survive with your family. Now, many of you may not be have that type of attitude. You just want to have a vehicle for fun and adventure and camping, and you're more than welcome to do that. But that's what we do with Stealth Developers. We want to help you enjoy having a vehicle that is not only made for adventure, but made also to protect your family. And that's why we create these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through this catalog and get you an idea on exactly what we have here. We are always constantly updating our catalogs, but we do have our directory showing some of the pages that we have in our introduction. But then also we um, do show two different types of vehicles that we do sell. Because we do sell stock Humvees that are just basically regular Humvees that come from the military. And you're gonna find two different types that we're selling. We are either selling a tuned up Humvee that is uh, refurbished or a Humvee that is in incredibly good condition. They actually sell some Humvees that have less than a thousand miles on them, which is crazy. So we have purchased uh, Humvees that cost us around twenty-five dollars to $30,000 to buy. And we can basically uh, uh, get one that has about a thousand or maybe 3,000 miles on it. And it looks pristine and clean like this one right here. Or you can get one that is in a lot more rough shape. Actually, there's some that look way worse than this with the uh, this piece taken out, which is very common. And we basically come across Humvees that are in really bad shape and not very good condition. And we could sell those as is, where we have Humvees that have non-working engines that we can sell for as low as like $10,000 on average. Um, or if you want a Humvee that is basically worth, uh, that has a good running engine, that is in just working shape, that you can still take off-roading right away with your family. Usually you're spending around fifteen dollars to $20,000 on those to get you an idea. So basically you can save about 50% off on wholesale vehicles compared to our stock vehicles that we have because the stock vehicles that we have in inventory usually sell for about thirty dollars to $40,000. So it just depends on what we have in stock. Now I'm gonna give you the differences in cost on these vehicles. Now, um, I prefer to sell vehicles that are in really good shape, that basically have good running engines, and uh, that can basically go on the trails immediately when you buy it from us. And with that, uh, we actually have certain models that sell for $14,500, or the four-door Humvee that is for about $15,000. The ambulance we can get for about $19,000, and the fastback for about $17,500. That's pretty reasonable cost, guys, compared to getting an actual Hummer on wheels that costs over $100,000. Even Hummers on wheels, some of them actually are in really bad shape, and they still cost a ridiculous amount of money. The only difference between the Hummer and these as well is that these are just not furnished and not all pretty inside. They are made for the military. Um, so that's one of the biggest difference. Now, stock pricing of Humvees, that's when we actually take these trucks in and we're going to do a full tune up on it. We're going to make sure they're very clean and we actually paint and touch it up to make it look really good. So it's about twice the cost. So our stock Humvees, if we uh, we would basically could sell a two door stock for about twenty nine thousand, a four door for about thirty one, an ambulance for about forty one thousand and a fastback for thirty three. So we can see about getting other flex flexible prices, but that's basically the types of vehicles we can get where we'll touch it up, we'll make sure our mechanics tune up the engine and make sure the engine is in really good shape and then it's basically ready for the road. And that's what we can do. Now, we can upgrade your vehicles. We're actually going to have a full list 
of all our upgrades. Now, another reason why I got in this business is that I love building bunkers for people, but I also love Humvees. I love Humvees since I was a child, but there's many companies out there on the internet where they offer upgrades for Humvees, but they're very limited on what they offer. Uh, many companies, they only have a, a fraction of what we're offering here, but I want to be able to have a one-stop shop where our company can provide you absolutely everything that is needed to fully upgrade your Humvee to the way you want. We have everything from the key starter, uh, LED headlights, grab handles, soft top, tire carrier, side mirrors, two-door hard tops. Uh, you name it, we've got it pretty much. If I'm missing something, you can basically contact us and let us know what we're missing. And we don't beat around the bush. I give you the pricing right away on what we would charge. This is labor and material to install it on your Humvee. If uh, we are looking at doing a material list where basically you can just purchase the material and then you can install it yourself if you want. Uh, so that's what we have here is the, the upgraded price breakdown. And then what we do is we have our truck build out options where you can go over all the options on actually fully loaded truck because I get different questions from people asking us, what are the price options if I want a really nice furnished Humvee or if I want something that's fully loaded. So what I've done is for a basic Humvee build, we will make sure that you have a key starter. Uh, we have a, a Humvee with a good working engine for around 15,000 we'll buy. Uh, you have the LED headlights, a four door, uh, solid door. Uh, we're gonna have solid doors on, around your cab. Uh, basic front console, so we're gonna put a new console on the truck. An AC unit, we're gonna install in it steering wheel seats uh basically we're gonna have leather seats interior paint we're gonna repaint the interior we're gonna repaint the exterior and we're gonna do a full engine tune-up all that we can do for about thirty four thousand dollars for your entire rig that you want to get so it's a really good deal i have yet to see any other establishment for that does humvees that can beat that price our mid-grade packages we're just adding more stuff is all we're doing. We're gonna make it more off-road aggressive and uh, make it much more efficient where, well, we'll basically have everything just like on the basic Humvee build. And maybe what I need to do is break this down where I basically just show the basic and all you see what the different upgraded options are to help it out. But the biggest difference you're getting on this is that you're getting premium doors that are a lot more higher quality that you're getting. We're gonna put new side mirrors on this. Uh, we are also going to add a rack on the roof. We're going to add a rear bumper uh, and a front bumper, metal bumper. So they're custom bumpers with a winch on it. This doesn't have the winch bumpers. Um, then we're going to have the side monitor console. So you actually have a GPS you can have inside of this one. Um, it's going to have an AC unit. Um, you then actually get the, uh, uh, the off-road light kit. And then we're going to have interior leather. Um, uh, paneling on the inside so it's, it won't be just painted on the inside we're gonna have a leather interior finishes um, we're then gonna do exterior standard paint uh, but we're gonna have a standard but we are gonna upgrade your wires uh, tires and rims and then we're gonna get you a suspension upgrade so it's a lot of stuff and we're doing that for seventy five thousand dollars so this one it's a very good aggressive capable off-road Humvee that has all these upgrades that we can offer you for 75 grand and we will make sure that has very low miles from the used Humvee. Now the reason why I'm going over these packages is mainly this because I keep having customers asking me about this weird thing that we're doing. On the premiums, people always want to ask me what would it take to do make this as the most badass kind of best of the best vehicle on the road. You know it's funny for a brand new Hummer a lot, or a Hummer with a very low miles are about $150,000. I thought what would be cool is what if we actually took a Humvee and we put a brand new engine in it, starting at zero miles with that engine, and everything else is practically brand new, and you're still around just $100,000 for that compared to the other Humvees. And that's what I, my goal was, is to get you an affordable, top-of-the-line Humvee that can match up to the Hummer's fully loaded and that's what this is we're going to get you a non-working humvee that's around ten thousand dollars where basically the engine's not even running because why even bother because we're going to put a brand new engine in it 
we're basically basically going to strip down the entire shell and the frame and we're going to powder coat and clean it up and repaint it and then we're going to get you everything compared to these vehicles but we're going to add a lot more fancy stuff to this to make sure you have the best of the best we're actually going to add a wagon back shell to it so you get uh store more stuff uh, then uh, and you could change this stuff whatever way you like and the doors are going to be very unique because these doors are not electric roll-up doors. The, on this one, it's going to be a lot more expensive, but we're going to get you electric roll-up doors on the premium Humvees. And then on top of that, we're going to get you a much higher-end console with a GPS system, nice screens that you're going to have on there. And then you're going to get your AC system, steering wheel. We're going to get you sports seats, which are going to be a, uh, great seats for aggressive off-roading with uh, special seat belts that you'll use for that. We're going to replace the Under Armour, so you have a lot more aggressive armor on the bottom uh, then we're going to put a 6.5 liter non uh, 6.5 liter turbo engine in this so it's going to have a lot of power way more power than these vehicles that you could practically go 100 miles per hour with this vehicle um, you're going to get the off-road light kit interior leather kit uh, and then also this is the other difference is we're going to put a gloss finish on the humvee because these ones have a just a standard military type of a non-glossy kind of finish, but then we're going to make it look very nice with a high gloss finish like we're on the traditional Hummers. We're going to put a full rain, uh, full new suspension kit that will replace with, uh, the former suspension system. And then also we're going to add the tire inflation system so you can basically inflate and deflate your tires. So that's the three biggest differences. I try to make this as very reasonable and very affordable that a, I challenge you to go to any company out there and no one will be able to match what we have today because my goal is again i want to make this affordable i want as many people in the united states to be as prepared as possible and to be able to have a rig that is made for fun and um and that's what these can be and so on this catalog as well we have also added um photos examples of each of these so uh if you refer back to here uh, to the um to the material that we provide you can refer to what upgrades you're getting, the dashboard A, dashboard B. And this is basically what the in standard painted interior looks like. Was just We just repainted the green, made it look really pretty with the AC system in it. Um, but here's like a standard uh, additional dash we can put on there. But here's a very custom dash that we can apply and a variety of other ones that we can do. Or we can do a very much different type of dash that you may have a different idea on what you want. So there's a variety of different ones you can do. Uh, then we can also do other interior upgrades, such as new steering wheels, uh, the grip uh, handles, the key starter, the new seats, leather interior, or just a painted interior. So we're, I'm trying to make this easy on you guys to so get an idea on just photo examples and what this stuff really looks like. And then when it comes to uh, the shell upgrades, you can have the standard box kind of shaped shell here where the doors and the shell on top will be included. Uh, here you'll have a soft top so you can actually make it like a convertible uh, Then we have the wagon shell basically where it just looks like the traditional Humvee wagon uh, We have this utility shell that we like to use so you can use it more like an expedition truck where you can mount additional items on the sides of it and Also mount stuff on the inside like even a sleeping area to make it more um, of an expedition type of truck uh, Then you have the two-door truck shell to make it as a hard top and then also finally the fastback, which is very popular. A lot of people like the, the fastback shells. And then what we do is we can do our door upgrades. Doors are a big deal to a lot of people, um, but there's three different types of doors I recommend. Is there's these standard uh, steel doors that we have with the simple uh, door uh, windows that just slide side to side, uh, or this is the premium door where it has it's all electronic. And you can roll it up and down and has really nice pretty interior uh, paneling on the inside looks like a regular truck you know with this so it's it's a mu much more different and then finally we have a lightweight fiberglass x uh, paneled shells that make them much more lightweight but also they're still insulated and still work really really well so those are the three type of doors that we can offer and then the big one also is the bumpers uh, you can either have a standard Humvee bumper or, uh, uh, or in, in no racks, or we can install all bumpers and racks for you, or we can have a front bumper, a rear bumper, or here's a different style of a bumper we can offer. 
and then also we have this uh, cradle kind of rack where basically it's more enclosed so you can base uh, so things won't slide right off and here's a couple here's a short rack for just the uh, uh, the box type of shape Humvee uh, shell also or the full rack for like the uh, for the wagon style and then um, and then again here's our tire upgrades we can either upgrade for the tire compression system where you can inflate and deflate your tires uh, you have your premium tires uh, where you basically will have uh, new rims, new tires, and obviously I would like to have everything included in the suit, including the tire inflation system, because if you look at that little guy right there, that will be your tire compression system. And then the new uh, suspension, where you basically take all the suspension out and put a new set in there for your Humvee. And then finally, here's uh, one of the other big upgrades is your engine. Um, there's two different engines. They're not cheap, but I would recommend the 6.5 liter, 205 horsepower, or 6.5 liter, 170 horsepower engine. And uh, these will replace everything. You will just take the old engine out and transmission and, and put a whole new engine and transmission into your Humvee to make it much more um, aggressive to be on the road and uh, when you're traveling. So you don't have to go to like 60 miles per hour like other Humvees. And then here's like, a, I need to get some better pictures, but here's differences between paint. Like here's a high gloss kind of paint kind of look. And then here is one with just more, not, not even a glossy look to it uh, to get you an idea on paint type of upgrades. And so, and then as you go through this catalog, you'll see the larger trucks. We can do upgrades on these as well, but Humvees are so crazy popular right now that that's all we're doing upgrades on, but we can upgrade military trucks or sell these. The FMTP, uh, FMTV or the FMTV uh, 4x4 or 6x6, these are the different upgrade options. Or the 6x6 MTVR trucks. We have so many different types of military trucks we can offer, but these are a sample of some of these different trucks we offer. And then we do offer the ones as is uh, that we can basically um, have from the uh, facility or we can have uh, trucks that are more upgraded that are basically are tuned up and in really good shape if we can do that for you. And then finally, um, our company has built custom campers for our preppers and also we've done our bunkers. And what we like to do is we only have done a couple Humvees with shells and we haven't done very many, but we like to offer upgrading the shell on your trucks so you can be able to have a, a great, efficient living space on a expedition truck because there's companies charging well over a million dollars for something like this but why not get a mtvr truck like this a six by six just uh, and then all you're doing is we're going to be adding a shell to the back and it's only going to cost you a couple hundred thousand dollars compared to the million dollars that people spend on these things and that's what we want to do we still want to help you save money and getting an aggressive vehicle like here's another example of a humvee with a shell uh, that you can get custom built on the back so we can do something like that for you so we can build campers if needed but it just depends and then finally we do have warranties on our stuff but it's only on the vehicles that we do our uh, tune-ups on but we do not have warranties on the as-is trucks because we have no idea what conditions those are uh, because like here's basically what they would look like straight from the uh, depot if we buy them straight from the military uh, uh, there's no guarantees on the condition of them until we work on it. So that's why we do not have a warranty. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, so we challenge you. The process to buy is um, uh, to buy these Humvees for the military if you're curious. And we like to educate you guys. You will need to uh, have a representative inspect all your, your truck on site. I recommend that. If you buy a military truck from, uh, from straight from the military, you have no idea what's wrong with it. I have a person who personally goes out and checks it out and, and does a video to make sure everything's working properly. Uh, you must pass a criminal background check to actually get access to purchase from the military. Uh, you have to get something called an end, uh, get an end of use certificate. And also, um, uh, you need to retrieve the title and that delivery of the truck to get a process. Because, And I do need to send out a... Uh, I'll add it to this catalog later, but... We, uh, we also, uh, there are certain states that are limited on actual Humvees and just because there's no airbags in these and there's a couple other safety features that are not included, including the emissions issue, that not all states do accept the Humvees to, uh, to warn you. But 
if we really have to, I recommend it. What if we got an older Hummer, a Hummer that is not in best shape, but it has a VIN number and it has the airbags that uh, it's properly registered to be in any state, then yes, we might have to go that direction because I've done that for a couple of customers where we go to a Hummer instead of Humvee just because of the title issues in your state. All right, so I hopefully that helps you out. I just thought a video would be better to explain everything while you go through this catalog and feel free to go through this, contact us and let us know if you have any questions. I leave my cell phone number in the, uh, in the email and I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Thank you, bye-bye.